In this video, we'll be discussing about the basics of transcription. We know in transcription, the genetic information present on DNA molecule is transcribed onto RNA molecule. We see we have a DNA molecule having two strands running anti-parallel to each other. And from this transcription, we get RNA molecules in the form of single strand as shown in the diagram. First of all, let's get to the DNA molecule. In DNA molecule, we see it has got two strands. One is called the coding strand and the other is called the template strand. The coding strand is the DNA strand whose base sequences correspond to the base sequences of RNA transcript produced. Whereas the template strand is the strand to which the RNA polymerase binds and makes use of it to make RNA molecule. This template strand has 3' to 5' direction so that the polymerase will make RNA in 5' to 3' end. We see on this template strand the RNA polymerase binds and runs along the template strand and synthesizes the RNA molecule as shown in the diagram. Now we have this newly formed single stranded RNA molecule. Furthermore, let's see the basis of DNA and RNA first. The DNA has adenine paired with thymine with double hydrogen bonds. Plus it has gaunine paired with cytosine bonded with three hydrogen bonds. And looking at the RNA molecule, we have adenine paired with uracil with double bonds, while as gaunine pairs with cytosine with three bonds as in DNA. So we see only this thymine gets replaced in RNA with uracil. Rest of the bases are same as of DNA. Now let's see the primary enzyme that drives the transcription. The primary enzyme we see is the RNA polymerase, which is DNA dependent RNA polymerase. And this enzyme drives RNA synthesis without primers. That is the de novo synthesis. It must be noted that this RNA polymerase runs 5' to 3' direction. That means it works on strand having 3' to 5' direction. Moreover, if we see the requirements for transcription, we need some substrates. Like we need ribonucleoside triphosphates, ATP, CTP, UTP and GTP. All the four substrates will provide their respective bases in the form of adenine, cytosine, uracil and Gaunin and the hydrolysis of NTPs provides us the energy to drive the transcription. Now let's see the concept of transcription unit. We see the transcription unit it is the transcribed segment of DNA. Mostly it is one gene in eukaryotes, while as in prokaryotes it is the set of adjacent genes. If we see it diagrammatically in eukaryotes, we see we have a DNA template strand as shown in the figure, having three genes: gene one, gene two, and gene three. The gene 1 constitutes as the transcription unit. Now looking at the prokaryotes having DNA template strand with 3 genes, gene 1, gene 2, gene 3, the gene 1 and gene 2 can be called the transcription unit because multiple genes are transcribed simultaneously. So these constitutes as the transcription unit in prokaryotes. And finally we see the outcome of transcription. That are the RNA molecules. We get mRNA, rRNA, tRNA, these are the three major RNA molecules we get from transcription and rest includes snRNA, cyRNA, myRNA and others. And we know the only RNA that codes for protein is the mRNA. And finally in eukaryotes the mRNA molecule producer is driven into the mRNA processing. Like we have 5' capping, RNA splicing and 3' polyadenylation. So this concludes our overview of transcription. In the next video, we'll be discussing about the transcription in detail. So I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Do consider supporting my work on Patreon and also make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thanks.